Valentina. Yeah. We see that often against the Faramis. Uh, even with that, though, you know, what's left on the table, at least for Rome, let's say, for homeboys here? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. I think uh, Zorn can play, can probably play the Cho, although it's not the best versus Faramis. There still is that Kufra. Um, and uh, uh, maybe, actually, they, they can pick up something like a Rafaela or uh, any kind of hero that kind of gives them that uh, healing, that additional support. Even a Diggy might be good for both boys. <laughs> oh, oh okay. they, they decided to ban it up. Okay, <laughs> as, it. as our good friend LaFell will say, there was so much damage so much when that damage. Diggy was there, man. Yep. Look, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of everybody <laughs> getting Sawo pilled right now. We need to be more based in this draft, right? Yep. Bring it down to Earth because I think that at the very least when we're looking at Deo's Vault, the way that they kind of want to draft it has expected the bans yep. that we were looking for gets taken away. At least for Zorn, let's not forget about suppressions, right? Yeah. Let's talk about the fact that Gosh. neutral objectives are going to be quite Minicore. interesting to be Minicore. maintained Minicore. around right. because both teams have done some great homework on each other. Yep. Okay, so now they can go for maybe Devo can pick up the Edith now, as those are the, or Benedetta actually might work well with their team. But yeah, you're going to be looking for a frontliner here for Devo. Either you go uh, maybe steal the Cho this time to go with this Fermis. You still have that option of the uh, Benedetta, as we mentioned. Uh, heroes that will be, or Edith most specifically, because it is a hero that they also pick up against something like a Terizla. Yeah, I think if they go with the Edith, that'd be great. Like you mentioned, check that box. You have this front line. Your Martis doesn't have to be, you know, so concerned with uh, running into the front or running into the fray. You have that Nether Realm available. You definitely want to have a little more tankiness to this lineup so far. Yeah. And then you can play around the utility, right? That is yeah. going to be the name of the game for this one. And there, this actually kind of works too, right? Yep. Get the Lapu Lapu that serves both that purposes. You have durability. You have good damage. You can actually pull off some flashy pays, plays as well. Yep. I think you're just left with Ward now, right? Oh, Fovius mid. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. What's the call on this? I get the Arla, but then when you see the Fovius and you look at the four heroes on the side from Devu, it's like, okay, it makes sense. Ooh. One slide tackle, you have the Mortal Calls that's considered a dash, the natural dash coming out from Lapu. Is there an expectation for another dash from the side uh, of Devu for I, their last pick? But what will be what will be other dash choices? Like <laughs> I don't know, with Kufra. I, yeah, honestly, I don't like the phobias. Maybe because of if you think about it, the phobias actually deals a lot of like ramp damage. You know, I was gonna say this of doesn't seem very damage. burst. You know, it, there's not it's like a burst. Yeah, yeah. But maybe the the burst will come now from the Brody. So I'm thinking like if you are Dave, you wanna you want somebody in the front lines, like maybe Tigreal actually. Oh, oh, man. oh, speaking of, oh. <laughs> you just might as well bring. The Tig out. Okay. <laughs> I, I personally, I am glad Tigreal is being picked again. I, he was the first hero I ever played, so I have yeah. you know, it's a it's sentimental a value. Sentimental, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, just deep rooted feelings for this one. <laughs> Break down the comps for me. Like, right. what are we expecting in terms of timings? Like, oh, yeah. where, where, what's the game plan? Okay, the game plan for Devo is just to group up. That's what they <laughs> wanted to do. All right, they want to just stay in their bubble, stay in their box, have Magistore end the, the, the eliminations with that. For homeboys, the problem I have with this is they don't have wave clear that's like long range and can actually end, uh, prolong the game for them. So they're kind of all in. They want to go in like Avengers this time, actually, with a superhero landing. One hero goes in, another follows. Teresa goes in, Brody goes for the damage from long distance, Phobius comes in, and then uh, eventually it's a, it's a give and take. Like a, it, it's like a tag team, you know? Well, we'll find out here as we load up into the land of Dawn. Game number one here, second series of the day. We know what's at stake. It's Homeboys Welcome versus Deus Bolt. Now you've already given your thoughts here, Wolf, as we get adjusted, seeing the rotations early on. Real quick though, where do things fall into place? Like, is this something, is are the lineups here where we're expecting an early first blood into that first turtle? Oh, um, I'm not sure if Homeboys is actually fit for that, but thinking about it, if this is a mid lane focus, yeah, maybe they have an additional ultimate to go with that. So I think, yeah, maybe there's a little bit, um, there's a little bit of hope for that for Homeboys, but at the same time, you have the fair miss. I think that's the more solid option when it comes to like killing in the first turtle fight. Okay, we'll see if they pull it off again. You know, also taking a look just in a second here at the emblems. But so far, really how this kind of all falls into place is the amount, I feel like, of the CC going to be thrown from Devu here against Homeboys. Anything that sticks out emblem-wise real quick. Mm. Well, there's 
Uh, there's a lot uh, where there's not much wilderness blessing on homeboys, which kind of weirds me. It, it's weird to me because they're typically the team that's very aggressive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Even with the Brody build, like we've been seeing tenacity and as yeah. well as agility the entire day, and now it's like, okay, give me some penetration, give yeah. me weapon master as well. I yeah. think that I. You know, going back to it when we were talking about the draft, and I was like, well, they're not going to have a ton of this burst damage early on. Maybe that's the way to do it with these emblems here. So already focused, but I, I don't expect any go signal just yet. They're going to go ahead and just poke things down before, you know, we're 10 seconds away from the first objective. You can see as well the other members of Devu kind of gathering up here. We know how important these level fours are leading into these first objectives. So we'll see how they all play a part. But, you know, right now this is relatively you know, slow and steady as both junglers get ready here. But Chibi is level five for some reason. Well, able to take out some of the extra jungle keeps. So this is massive. Oh, uh, it looks like they've already started the fight. Kim Bomba is under attack. Netherrealm forced out as well as the bravest fighter. Zorn's going to take his time. And now he jumps on top of him, forcing out the demonic force coming out from the side of Warlord. Underneath oh, the turret, he needs to use the iframes to get on out of there. And first blood falling into the hands of Deus Fall. Kim Bomba not dying to the trade at all. GB's Ooh. trying to take it. Penalty Zorn's going to come out to slow them down. But they're getting chunked out. And Subbot will eventually oh, fall. The Even the flicker Ooh. came out of him. They don't fall find any trades, they kill Magister, Sapat and Zorn, really low, Kid Bomba jumps in with the Bravest Fighter, and Zorn oh. outplays him, Kid Bomba finally takes him out, GB. Retribution as well, and then GB takes out Kid Bomba, you were right, you were totally right, the trades! <laughs> This probably will be the, the the game with the longest skirmishes. Because there's no burst. There's none. There's none. I, I think that if we don't have Rizal as well as uh, as well as uh, Carvey, there will not be any kind of burst. And it will be a long drawn <laughs> fights where there's not much happening. And then the Faramis ultimate just makes it even worse. Yeah, it's you just know? a bunch of tanky dudes swinging yeah, at exactly. each other and then looking flashy, right? Because yeah. you got. The bravest fighter jumping around, yeah. and you know you got the final slashes and everything. But really, yes, yeah. as long as the gold laners are in their gold lane, yeah. expect these long drawn fights. Which, hey, it it could work for yeah. either of these teams right now. The way things are falling in place, but even itemization wise, anything sticking out here yeah. early on? Uh, not yet. I think if this will, if Sword will continue with this, is he actually building for damage? Might have gone for target. In fact. I mean, he's got two assists. Like, why not? You get, wow. you start off with that Fury Hammer, and then you kind of build full <laughs> tank from then on, considering how this game is gone. Oh. And now Sawa flickers forward, finds the explosion into the shores, or a perfect combination, not giving Rizal any opportunity to flicker out yeah. of there. Two catapults, two gold cannons, not going to be available for Rizal. That's going to be massive. Yeah, and then oh, Sapat getting chunked down on the top oh. side of the map. Brave Spider already being used by Kim Bomba to actually even out the scales here. But you can see the massive EXP lead for Sapat. Yeah. Oh my goodness, uh, Rizal, that's actually pretty pretty bad that he lost that. Nobody's scouting for him. Okay. Yeah. Even with these like pulls, right? There's really nothing that can be done just yet, especially with this turtle coming up here now. But good point because gold laners, we know that they have to hit this, you know, certain level, certain timing when it comes to the spike, the power spikes, and timing is going to be important here. So if you get focused on early on, you get in a trouble situation. So now, once again, turtle being up here, both teams getting in position. But it looks like it could possibly just go over here to homeboys. Yep. So. Secured. Good zone from Warlord. Now that he has Clock of Destiny, he's uh, uh, he's quite tanky actually. Because not because of the Clock of Destiny, but mainly because of the ultimate that he can actually go onto the Mar Martis. And Martis have natural dashes. And by the way, good synergy between like Arlet as well as Phobius. That's a classic combo. Oh, they're jumping in. They want to jump in even further, right? Final Slash getting cancelled out by the Implosion, getting all three of the members all in one tight oh little God. space. Shadows have people in three back. Harvey already fighting one onto Zorn. Warlord trying to go on the run. Demonic Force has already been popped out here. They're low, but not enough to finish them off. But oh. here we go! Rizel, part of the fight. Magister is down. Double kill coming out as Carvey takes Warlord out. Finally, two for two trade. Man, these teams. These players are just really going at it. And Zorin already picks up the Thunder Belt at five minutes. That's pretty fast. And imagine having extra damage. Like, he's a roamer for sure, but he's not going to be that quote unquote tanky roamer. Eventually, maybe after the Thunder Belt, he will go for like defense items. But because he went in for Dire Heat, if I'm not mistaken, 
that means that he will be um, focusing on damage now. And Chibi, a very early blade armor pickup. This is going to be massive in the team fights. Not only that, but you know now, even with that last exchange, Rizel, uh, Rizel able to get the Malefic Roar, able to pump out some of that damage. So you know, even at the six minute mark, this is where you get to the point. Okay, some of these gold laners they'll obviously be rotating to some of the fights. Carvey did the same thing, the previous you know exchange, but really. You know, who's going to come out on top in those, you know, early skirmishes, these fights later on. That's kind of what has to be witnessed yeah. as we, you know, see them duke it out. But right now, the fact that you have some of these defensive items being built up too, will all play a part into this. Now, as we wait for this third turtle to come up here, it, it really is down to how do they decide to approach these objectives, yeah. right? The four man, is it going to be the four on four or will these be full on fights? Yeah. Hey. And Sawa now picking up the dominant size, gonna be playing an important role because so far homeboys have been relying on their sustain, right? <laughs> well, there. I mean, literally everyone is a tanky dude now, <laughs> except for both Garvey as well as Ryzo. So that dominant size is gonna be uh, very important. Yeah, it's basically WrestleMania at this point. Right? <laughs> Everybody's getting into That's the ring. It's like uh, from the top rope, you see <laughs> Warlord jumping in every single time. But every single one what of is, these turtles, what do they call that? Royal, Royal, Rumble. Rumble. Royal, Royal Rumble. Rumble. Royal Rumble. <laughs> That's basically what it is at this point, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, uh -oh. top rope once again. Warlord's really getting hefty on it, right? Procking as many of these demonic forces, forcing out the retribution as well from the Magister himself. Warlord playing as if he is not a mid laner anymore. He's going to fight. Final Slash already coming out to try and get on top of Car B. And now the Nether Realm looking to protect him underneath his heart. Kid Bomba needs to be part of this. Here comes the penalty zone. They find the initial turret. And now Sawo oh out of position. God. They found two as they keep on pushing forward. Man, this is so awkward. Well, uh, uh, part memories coming on out, swinging back into the fight. Good vengeance, <laughs> and now the demonic force has popped <laughs> out again. Now it's final slash, and GB kills Sunset Lover. We got to talk about tempo. What yeah. the hell is this? <laughs> That's like the, I don't know, probably the, some of the slowest build up exactly. tempo, and just everything happening at once at the end. Exactly. You just have to wait. Like, okay, who dies in the end? Like, whoever does not hit the ultimate, basically. And like I told you, Homeboys is lined up there. They're the uh, Avengers, the superhero landings, right? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody goes in, that's Warlord first on the right side, and then eventually it will be Chibi. Then Ryzo pops the ultimate. All of a sudden, when they will thought that they will be able to get out, then they're step out with the ultimate. Here's a penalty zone. <laughs> and a penalty zone. And by that time, another final slash exactly. is available. So, exactly. You know, how do you work around that? That's one thing. Oh, I don't know, oh, man. Oh, here we go. So that lover getting pulled in. Retribution coming down for Magic. So he's looking for the decimate. Oh, it doesn't connect. But he still finds a kill on the Warlock, pushing him in. Demonic Force is already coming out. As well Motion. as the implosion to keep it in place. Finally, a mistake being made. Two kills falling into the hands yep. of Deo's fault, evening out 7-7. Seven to seven. Yep. That is the way to go. Make sure that the implosion will be, uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, best value, wherein the timing will be good. Doesn't mean that you need to catch everyone from homeboys, but it means like you catch maybe Warlord mid animation, for example. So those are the, the things that maybe this book can use. Yep, Netherrealm already popped his Shadow Step. Oh, He's gonna pull them Ooh. back in. Sapat is done for. No ultimates being abused. His GP is able to take the Cyclone Eye out of there. Torn Apart Memory is not really gonna do much here. And Sawo is still alive and is passive, making sure that he is one thick boy. Great job, great work there from Dave. Who able to, you know, push into that territory, secure the Lord for themselves here. So, you know, that what, three, almost 4K gold lead that Homeboys yeah. had. They've shrunk it down a little bit. They can work around this. Yeah. Biggest thing they could get from here is obviously space, right? Yeah. To work around the map. That's right. I like the box formation of Dave They're going to be doing it again. Uh, here we go. They haven't forced out the Demonic Force just yet. Chibi's taking a lot of damage, but here we go. Warlord jumps in for the top ropes once again with the Demonic Force, making sure that he's buying space and time for his team. Man, he's actually so much more sustainable than I thought he was with these fighter yeah. emblems. But Deo's Vault, they're going to start moving them. They back off, and it looks like, well, not much was achieved here. Not even yeah. Tier 1. It's top side Tier 1 should eventually fall. Yeah. Every time that they don't have the Paramus ultimate, they have to just back down and did not fight. And this is Dave, Dave who's uh, composition. We talked about how they should be like grouping up together, forming their box, and just destroying homeboys. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, they can try, but the emotion are around. Okay. Uh, final Slash pushing them away from a Chibi. He's buying a lot of time. Nether Realm even being popped as Ryzel finds Sabo walking oh. away from that fight. Kimboba is chucked out. He's forced it now. It's an all in. Ryzel gets sunset. Magister kills Optorn as he's trying to slide tackle away. Carvey needs to get oh out of there. Ryzel says no. Warlord. 
does not go down! He is the leader of his people, and he continues to press forward! Is this not the most Malaysian draft ever? <laughs> I don't know, going back to it again. They're still trying to hold it oh! together. Rizel, he's in trouble. Oh, he goes down! Kim Bomba finally finds the trade, and Sunset Lover taking his time with this, but uh, eventually the sustainability for the side of the homeboys keeping them topped up. This is, uh, I honestly, you say that this, is this very Malaysian? You know what? Sure, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> I don't usually get to see Warlord play Fovius in the mid lane, but when he does in the way that he's playing, why not? Yeah, it's okay. It's not the. It, it's not the Malaysian draft hero per hero, but when it comes to like composition and the raw idea of going in, just literally chasing everyone, you're gonna see a very long chase. It's the entirety of the half of the map, basically. Entirety of the mid lane. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. You saw how well they played aggressively. And then all of a sudden, you can see Rifle being punished. What the hell is this game? The, 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 the funny thing, going back to the Royal Rumble, you know, metaphor here is like you have all these guys just in the ring and then all of a sudden it's that one guy that runs into the ring picks up you know a chair or something yeah, yeah. gets a couple and yeah. runs out that's what Rizel did there yeah. but you know that's kind of what Carvey has to do he is the same person in this situation right you have to be able to get there and right now he's double buffed up he's trying to push down some of this space in the mid lane all this before that lord comes up Yep, GB is going to stun up Kim Bumba for the time being. So, but not finding the right targets to jump in just yet. But let me tell you, it feels like at least for the side of the homeboys, it's great that if Dio's Fault backs down from the fight, the chases, yeah. their dash is ba dashing backward. It's actually counterintuitive as homeboys will keep on going, right? Look at Warlord. He's propped the Demonic Force so many times and they should be able to take this away free. Oh, oh that's done! No, the unlucky. Kim Bumba nails it. Final Slash does it and connect as the implosion locks him down. It's a mistake. Warlord fights Kim Bomba, and now with a penalty zone, it ain't enough to stop them as GB is trying to slow them down. Netherrealm is already down as we see Warlord trying to clean this up. It's not easy. Rizel's already dead. Carpy's still alive. He's still making the plays. Warlord is able to find one. Stop dashing. Just walk away from him. He won't let you run away at all. Warlord, oh, he's done for. And now that's a four. Four for two oh, trade oh, as Magister oh. breaks open tier two. Are you not entertained? Homeboys, specifically Warlord, did a great job zoning out Magister already. Nobody was in that area, but the Lord was with Devu. I just gotta say, that is a Warlord if I've seen one. Oh what my a player. God. The Lord knocked up Chibi. The right <laughs> moment, then Kid Bomba is CC immune. Oh. I, this is uh, oh it's so my painful. Goodness. Look, it's so painful, especially once I'm like gassing up my boy. He oh doesn't my misses the God. red tree unless the Lord says no, not this time. Unless Sorry, it's sir. Kid Bomba, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like again, Woo. in in amidst everything, Devu pulls something out like that. But still, you can see. There is still going to be a struggle, right, with some of these fights. They have to be able to handle, uh, of course, even Warlord alone How and, and keeping the whole time Carvey alive. Once that Nether Realm is gone, you guys saw it, right? So let's take a look really quickly. How is the items coming into place? Oh. Okay, when it comes to items, okay. Naturally, Zorin will go and pick up the defensive items after the Thunder Belt. But he seems like he wants to consider another damage <laughs> item after the... Kiras, which is understandable. Now, however, for a homeboy, so you're gonna be, I gotta be worried now at 15 minutes <laughs> in, because Rizal and his, uh, he will eventually reach a critical mass to the point where they will might outscale him. Oh. Speaking of critical mass, wow, Chibi getting chunked out by Chibi, even committing to the retribution yeah. in case he continues to go out of position. Even Magister trying to slow them down, right? Yeah. These fights, I mean, this is one of the few games where we see some of the highest kill counts 15 minutes into the game. That's 28 kills in total so far. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy to even think that it's been 15 minutes, right? It seems like it's a little <laughs> bit longer at this yeah. point. But really, talking about critical mass here is it's up to both the gold laners for the most part, but maybe also that's why Zorn is going and opting for some of that damage, right? Yeah. To be able to provide some of that yeah. pressure onto Devu, and we'll see yep. if they actually have a response to that. Yeah, because eventually Warlord will just be a, still a problem, but at the same time, not the biggest of problems.
right? Because this is not like a 1-1. One -one. This is a Bruno that can dash once, and then eventually what you're going to do is to pop the Purify, then punish Warlord. So, uh, obviously, there are so many ways though, for Daewoo to kind of end this game, especially when they just keep their box. But homeboys, this is their time. Yeah. All right, back to back, <laughs> back to back lords. I've been oh, taken away from no. Chibi. We'll see. They're going to get in position here once again. They're just blitzing the Lord, though. Yep. Oh, Keep on bugging. Don't My do God. it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He tries, okay. but Chibi okay. is able to right. secure it. No problem. Warlord already using the Demonic Force. He's got to reset, but he doesn't want to commit to it any longer. Whoever Wait, backs out fight? here it might be a problem. Conceal already being used. Is Chibi's draining out of the way. As Sufat uses the penalty zone to call for a disengage. Zorn. Wait, hold on. The Nether Realm. It's already outside. Implosion! Implosion on four. Pushes him back. What? They can't get out. Final slash to try and disengage, and here we go. Rizel is already dead. Majority of their damage is gone, chase. but they still find a trade on to Magister themselves. Call it off. The Lord is already spawned and walking. With oh. only that, Fake there's only back. one. She be what's Garvey? Uh oh, she be what's Garvey? Okay, he's swerving, but again, oh they have goodness. to deal with the Lord here. This, what a setup! Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Sowl. Very patient. Lands the big ultimate, and that meant that the Lord might not be used by homeboys as you would want to. That means the defense will be there, especially because Rizal was taken out. So, I mean, Devu, they might have lost that battle, but because of the implosion, it was more. It was, it was now enough for them to kind of prolong the game again. Yeah, I mean, especially with the, in combination with the motor coils, when they're all so yeah. close together, how much time was wasted? How much, uh, how little frames do homeboys have to work with? Especially Rizal, right? He wants the flicker, he can't. Yeah. He's been trying so yeah. many times. I yeah. wonder if uh, Rizal might rethink his uh, battles, but maybe if you had Purify, those would be different. But then again, you're a Brody, you want to be on the aggressive, so. But there were so many times in this game that he wished he had Purify. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You can see that in, in those exchanges, right? And, you know, we've all seen it before, especially when the Tigger is locked in. You sometimes feel like, okay, I just want to play, right? You're, you're, in, you're either in air or suspended or being dragged either way. But even with that exchange that we saw, okay, GB's going to be the focus here. Uh -huh. Are they going to commit? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, Chibi did use his Totoy's Poissons, and I feel like Deo's Vault, they're looking for Rizel again, right? I think those are the two main targets, Warlord and as well as Rizel. Warlord's going to take way too much effort, but Rizel is so susceptible. Yep. Uh, it's going to be the Halberd picked up by the Brody. Uh -huh. Man, they still want to go. Yeah, oh, it looks nice. like they're going to commit to the chase here. Chibi nice is getting pushed back. Step Penalty zone. So nicely done to slow them down. Even the Decimate There's is coming sword. out. It pops the Immortality in towards the Implosion. Landing on two. Rizal is able to get some free hits here. But look at this Demonic Force buying so much time. Support by Swarvy. Warlord manages to get a killing spree off the Sunset. Lover and Sowl left out to dry. That's a two for one trade in favor of the homeboys. 22 seconds away from the Lord. Will they try to end this? There's a lot of defense. This is Faramis, this is Lapu Lapu. Wait, no. Homeboys, this is not the best shot. Wait, buddy, let's, let's, let's calm down here. Calm proxy, down. The, proxy as many waves as possible. Go they want the it. They, they want it. They're going for it. Kimbomba is looking to close. He's trying to clear up those waves. Final Slash onto Magister. They're trying to protect that last cannon minion. It's gone. And now they jump on in with the Demonic Force. They committed too much about No more immortality for him as another inhibitor drops down. Warlord is on the run. And now they're done. Oh. Out of gas. Ooh. Finally. Okay. We Ooh. do get to take a breather from this, but the Lord's going to be up here. Yep. And you see them make a straight line for it. So they're going to yep. start it up. Devu has to defend their base. They hold on to the one base turret. Yep. Are they actually going to try to get here in time? It looks like Magister also making his they way. They want it. They have the Firemis ultimate. Yeah, this is a little risky. He also <laughs> has the immortality. And Devu gets here in time. Yeah. They get played the Lord Dance now, homeboys. That's what they need to do now. They're so separated from each other. It's Sawo already looking for the angle. Doesn't have the flicker though. Oh, the instigating the fight. Warlord's right on top of Car V as much as they can. They're trying to peel him off, but Sowell. here we go. That's the implosion already going down. Right, Sal's walking up forward. Nether Realm is gone. Kid Bomba tries to make a dash, but again makes Warlord deeper into the enemy lines. The Mortal Coils is doing some great peel, but finally Sunset Lover fights Sunset. Oh. Oh. But it takes him out instantly. Car V fights Warlord as well, but they take out Sunset Lover in trade. It's two for one this time in favor of Deo's fault. And oh. it's also just a Family, so he's actually now alive. Back up. It's all of the stacks that you got there. Homeboys down the two oh, no. numbers here for this fight. And Chibi also does not have that immortality anymore. So they're going to have to just give this up, possibly. Yeah. Unless they can pull something off. But this looks like oh. a Devu Lord. Yes. 
Absolutely, and the, the minion wave for homeboys are pretty bad as well. Ooh. I mean, that's what happens. You, you lose these timings of your waves just because of how hectic and how long these drag down fights exactly. are going to be. And with that again, Lord here secured for Dave Vu. They're going to make their way down the mid while they wait. Lord going up to the top side. Tier 2 now falling. And just this is their time to go ahead and knock on the base here of homeboys. Defensively, though, uh, you know, still so far from what we've seen just from this game alone, now almost 22 minutes in. Some of these team fights, they're so orchestrated, it really does depend on which gold laner is able to withstand all of the <laughs> things being thrown at exactly. them. Exactly. Whoever gets caught, uh, is going to have a bad time. And the thing is, during that fight, there are so many resources that David didn't have, like the Flicker onto Salvo, some of the Immortalities, for example, onto Kid Bomba, it wasn't available in that fight. Now, it will soon be cooling down. In fact, you have the Flicker on Salvo again. So now, it's a much better team fight for Devo. Yeah, it looks like homeboys are just letting them take the inhibitors here. Their high ground defense may not necessarily be as strong. Remember, it's all about protecting the king, and the king is Ryzel. And the same can be said about Deo's vault. RV, he's got to be careful as Lord is going to crash down. That's three. That's two inhibitors so far. Looking for a third. But I think that's where Deo's vault is going to call it quits. Unless we see a mistake from the side of the homeboys. Yeah, so basically what we have is just both bases Sabo holding on team. to one turret. Unless Sao wants to press the situation, he's going to go in. He flickers in, gets the applause. He keeps up, jumps in for follow up. And here comes another realm. Now Warlock getting chucked Harvey. out hard. Harvey, he's going to be brought back with the help of another realm. Penalty zone instantly as now the way are crashing in. They're running out of time as Rizel is able to chuck them down one by one. Sword takes out Carby <laughs> and Rizel into Magister. Three for nothing so far. And that just might be a full wide bounce. Samo, sunset, all gone. That's it. Hope boys now make a beeline through the mid lane. Sunset's coming back in 10 seconds. The fair miss, can you do so much about this? It's so difficult. And look at their lanes. It will be managed by Sebat. It is more than enough. Oh, they got three lanes. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. Sunset Lover, it's all, he's all by himself here. Homeboys are getting ready to oh, push it, it in. It. They got it. They got it. They got it. Oh! The, it was Sunset cleared. flickered for it and he dies to buy oh, time. He, it. he does it and takes oh out my TV. God. What a defense. What a play oh. in a decision from Sunset Lover. The, the mistake was... They attracted two lanes! No! They went in, in front of the base too soon! No! And the defense was there! They were clumping up together! Dude, why is it when I'm doing the play-by-play, -play, it's these types of games? Oh, man. From wild cards all the way to group station, let's look at the instant replay. Oh, Chibi! Oh. Chibi got the... Oh, no! I understand why they want to attack it, but the final slash... There were so many... Minute details that went wrong. And you know what the worst is? The jungler is dead. Yep. yep. He's gone for 15 seconds here. So it's up to homeboys if they want to try Warlord. to delay this the best they can. Dave Vu going to go ahead and continue down this Lord. And we'll see if homeboys can actually hold it together. Oh, it's, they gotta it's try. their Lord. It's their Lord now. Yeah, they got to try. Demonic Force is already out. Kimbomba is on top of Ryzel. No reason. He's going to use his wand as quickly as possible. Netherrealm is going to keep Carvey alive. as so they're trying to delay this for as long as no possible. Reset. And Ryzel kills Kid Bomba. They reset the Lord. And this is a success. Zorn has fought just enough time. And GB is back in the fight to chase down Sawo. What the hell? Oh what is going on? on? Hey, hey, hey. Please. It's back Please. to back team. Fights, you gotta have to hand it to Ryzo. My poor little voice. This is the, come on, this is day one of me doing play by play, man. Come <laughs> on! Ryzo survived Keith Bomb Bomb once again. And that's important that they actually they was able to punish and they were able to reset. Big props to Warlord for sure. Big props to Ryzo as well. And they have bought enough time to be Chibi to come back. Magistor is still alive though. So, home boys. Oh, this is not a guaranteed Lord. Oh, Sawo, he's going to be pushing Warlord in. Penalty zone lands onto two, but not onto Harvey. Harvey takes out Warlord instantaneously before the he Lord. gets off. And it, uh, gets it off in time. Oh, the cut, the final slash from Zorn. Doesn't let Magistor get into the pit. They secure another Lord, but Warlord is out for 60 seconds. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> this is all. This, this game. game number one of this series. <laughs> the back and forth here. So yes, Warlord is down. Daewoo trying to keep the Lord holding here the best they can. Carvey's still going to be up. 
Of course, both teams of full force can actually still fight if they want to, but this is a beefy lord here. Oh, my lungs are in pain as Theo's vault is continuing to push forward. Sabat getting pulled behind the Shadow Snatch out Sawa. I mean, Chibi, he can tank some damage, but oh. Sawa is the big problem here. He's been catching out Ryzel too many times, and now with this Lord, Luminous <laughs> Lord just getting chunked down like it's absolutely nothing, they're allowing the waves to kind of build up on either side. They know that without Warlord, there's not much that Homeboys can do because he's the main problem. Oh, they will try to push this. They might go... It might go for the Megas. They do get it. Okay. <laughs> what? I mean, it, it's not going to result in a game and play just yet, but at least another advantage being built up. One inhibitor for the side of Deal's Vault, none for the side of the homeboys. And uh, I don't think they're going to chase this, but for the time being, at least, like, Ryzel, he needs, he needs some breathing space. <laughs> Imagine, like, winning the Lord fight, only losing one hero, which is Warlord, and then all of a sudden, the enemy has the better turrets. Yeah. What is this game? <laughs> we got a preview of it, you know, two, three minutes in. That's kind of what we expected. And at this point, you know, this is where the item uh, itemization juggling yeah. goes around and that kind of falls into place. But relatively what we're going to expect is in the next 70 seconds, Lord's going to be up, both teams going to battle it out. Now, advantage-wise, you know, Devu has that one turret standing. Yeah. Right? They can hold on to that. That is still an advantage here. But, man, right now, a lot of these exchanges really what matters and how they build yeah. up. One of the hardest things that I see even for Devu is the fact that Zorn, for the most part, Sometimes he's using the final slash just to keep Magister yeah. away, right? So you have to be able to play into that, to get around that. And not to mention, once again, if they lose Carvey, they, you know, can you even fight from that point? Exactly. Um, I, 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 kinda, I I wanted to say no, but at the same time, Kid Bomba just comes <laughs> up with something. Somehow. As well as, well as the Faramis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunset no. Lover, like... That's exactly it. That's exactly it, right? Because again, it's one of those like slight feints that we've been seeing from Deo's fault that kind of like draws attention from the homeboys. And then the next thing you know, Sawa goes for the flicker implosion play yep. and they layer it in a, in a sense where somebody's going to go for the feint. Somebody else is going to try and get on top of Ryzel to get all of his resources. Yep. Man, what do you even expect from this game, right? Well, one thing for sure is the Lord fight. Unfortunately for Devu, they have a better lane oh. down bottom just because of the fact that they took out the inhibitor. And I believe Sepat is already setting up for the slow push onto the uh, uh, long lane. He might meet Lapu Lapu, which is not a problem at all. Or oh. is it? Oh. Implosion committed! Yep, they've already committed. No they want to take out Sepat oh, yes, as soon that's as that's possible. That's they've got sword Penalties are already coming out, forcing out oh, the Nether Realm. As Chibi's trying to get on, Kibamba jumps back out. Warlord's in the fight. Final Slash is already done for. And Warlord fights Carvey! It's too late. He didn't buy his items in time. They're trying to make a run for it. Ryzel gets a free hit in the meantime as Warlord fights a double. And Sabo getting on top of Ryzel. It isn't enough. Sunset Lover chunks Ryzel out. And even the immortality is broken from it. Corrosive trying to try and get on out of there too. Sorn trying to slow him down. Sawo pulling Ryzel oh! out of the fight. And Sunset Lover takes him out. It's a two for two trade once again. Unbelievable. What a play from Sawo. He pushed. He pushed Ryzel to the loving arms of Carvey. Obviously, oh, the, the Tiger will not have enough, right? Against yeah. the Brody. This is a tank. But what he did was to bring the opponent to his teammate. And honestly, they will get the better end of the deal because now Ryzel is responding for 11 more seconds slower than Carvey. Oh man, we'll see again if either of these teams can actually go ahead and get this advantage for this Lord Dance, but what a play and also... Oh, no Zorn. Oh, no Zorn. immortality. Again, Sao. He sucked on in. Straight away, Warlord is forced to jump into it. Impl Three oh. man implosion once again. Netherrealm comes out and Zorn, he's done for it. The stacks built up by Sunset Lover. It's starting to outscale the entire composition. The Toys Boy Sans is going to reduce a little bit of healing, but it's not going to do much at the end of the day as Warlord can't necessarily peel the entire team off of Chibi. In the meantime, it's someone fine. has to clear down that bot side. Ryzel isn't coming back up anytime soon. Fire Finally, Sunset Lover finds the kill, and Warlord, he's done oh, as much wave, as he God. can, but the waves are so messed up. Yes, they want to make the melee towards the mid. They have so much minions, and they don't have the mage to kind of deal with this. They got to be careful, though. Ryzel is up. Oh, my word. Do they actually just commit to this base? It looks like they're going to plant themselves there, though. Lord is up. I think they want to trap 
uh, homeboys because they know that the only way for homeboys to kind of contest the Lord is to turn onto heroes. And Devo wants to set up traps. Or they're looking oh, they're gonna to push end it this. In. They, they, they can end it. They've got the man advantage. Here so we go. RV gets hit. Oh! 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 But straight away we see the play remade by Kimbo by Salvo. Pulled in another realm to end it all. GG while playing Zeus Fault. Take game one. What a battle here between these two teams. Finally ending there with decisive action from Devu. What a disgusting game this was. Absolutely nasty from both teams. At the end of the day, as Raizo, you would wish you had Purify. Yeah, you said it earlier. I said it earlier. I'm going to say it one last time. My goodness, but going to have to hand it to 